G'day Pisces, we are looking at the full moon energies for this week, it's actually full moon in Capricorn, so Capricorn uh, basically is about our 10th house, so paying attention to our career, our highest calling, where we feel pulled and you know in the in terms of the work that we're doing this is on a grander scale um and just getting a bit more into alignment of perhaps what we have been missing out on but there's also a healing aspect here what it is that we want to attract but what we also need to kind of let go and open up to heal and and take charge uh, as part of that so let's um connect on in with our energies importantly you know this is a general reading uh, based on the full moon energy um, for this week and you know what's coming up for you most when it comes to your career and is there just some things that you need to get out of your own way something that you need to let go of um, you know you might feel a lot of other things happening uh, because as we look at the full moon energy there's other things happening as well i believe we've got saturn taking a visit um, we've got mercury um, connecting and aligning with the sun like there's a lot of things happening around our communication about our feelings um, and just you know the overall aspect of that so if there's something that you haven't finished, want to finish, that you have been feeling called to do and there's some fears, maybe that too is going to be part of the clearing experience. So we're going to connect in to see what is happening, what is coming up and how we can best support you this week and beyond with these full moon energies. Okay. Now let me check the camera because I have a feeling it's a little bit off. we go so i hope you are doing well pisces um if we haven't met i'm jamie and we are here to support your journey support your path and what it is that you need most right now while messages that come on through may not relate to everyone there are other readings on this channel uh, and we do our best to you know connect in on who needs the messages most right now so there might be something else for you on other channels uh, but if you feel connected to this message i would appreciate a like and a subscribe importantly so you can get more um, when you need it and support the channel so thank you for being here i know this path is not you know our time on earth is wonderful there's a lot of joy there's a lot of spark there's a lot of energy but there's also this aspect too that we're not meant to be doing it alone so if this can support you i am really happy about that all right thank you spirit well we like confidence there's no doubt about that i'm just going to be pulling out a few cards um i've got two coming out here okay and we still will clarify as well and i'll show you what this is all meaning as it comes together that's too many <clears throat> So what's that one thing that you want to achieve when it comes to your career Pisces what is it that you desire most if there was no boundaries no barriers to achieving and attaining that okay I really want you to connect in that uh, and importantly over the the full moon energy you know connecting on in on what does Pisces need most to support their journey all right so did I just kick um and for some of you who probably a bit like me I like things to be a bit even but sometimes that doesn't want to happen here we go okay I think we're getting there Pisces so if we take a look at the the past or as we're moving into um the Capricorn energy at over this full moon i mean while capricorn rules the 10th house it's always good to check where capricorn um, may sit in terms of the house that it dominates also in your chart as well because uh, combining the two together could give some further clarity on really specifics for you 
Um, but the Capricorn energy is about a leader, is about being, you know, an authority um, and controlled in really taking action and really taking charge. It's a, it's a fiery energy and aspect of just leading um, and doing. And they're very good at, you know, taking action, but doing it with a power of knowing. Okay. But as we, I mean, it is a super moon, um, as we move into this full moon, which is on the 13th of July, I believe. Um, so as it states, emotions are running high. Okay. Emotions are running high Pisces. Um, and it's important to remember that you are good enough. So whatever that's coming up for you, because there's probably going to be some shedding, you might find that you need to just go cry, take a break, clear some space, some energy. Oh, I just had some crystals fall over there. Um, interesting. The crystals that fell is about uh, connecting into your intuition and clearing that, but also connecting to your love space. So I'm just paying attention to those crystals that, that fell. But, um, this is yeah, really about trusting in what you're feeling and what's coming up for you. And also reminding yourself that if the challenge, for, cause I think some of you, there is a challenge that can you really pull off what it is that you desire? Can you really pull off what you want to achieve, what you want to do? And spirit is saying you are good enough. So keep, you know, find some affirmations through this full moon energy to keep reminding of yourself, reminding yourself of how amazing you are. Okay. And as we connect in, we're looking at um, the death card, the queen of materials, the 10 of voices and the ace of emotions. So what also is coming up here is that there is going to be some form of transformation. Uh, this, is a, this is a big energy for this full moon around your 10th house and around career. Okay. As I said, please check other elements that you may find or other um, aspects of your chart, what other house it impacts when it comes to Capricorn for your specific um birth. Okay. But with the death card and the queen of materials, I feel whatever's happening is releasing and awakening to get you to a place of really stepping into that power of building the wealth that you desire, building that, um, doing the work that you've needed to do to put you where you need to go. But this is around your career and this is around building your financial as aspects and stability that comes with your highest calling as well. You're being called Pisces. I don't want you to think that you're being left behind. And there is actually a reading based, um, that should be uploaded already to the channel. If it's not, it's coming. Um, but it's basically letting you know that you are not being left behind Pisces. If you are in a challenging time, it's again, there's just this form of rebirth, this form of transformation that needs to occur. So you can actually step into the light that you're meant to be stepping into. There are challenges, you know, in, in this world, there are people that are here in our lives that come in, come out to teach us things, lessons, to remember who we are. So we can also make a difference and further grow. And that's what's happening right now. I feel like you're moving through and stepping into this queen of materials energy which is about your wealth about all the seeds that you have planted coming to fruition and that's the energy that you're moving into in addition with the ten of voices and the ace of emotions this is about acknowledging the shit that you've been through the healing is coming to an end in an aspect of the hard hard lessons i feel like you're going to be able to breathe again there's certain parts of our being that it has impacted, whether it's been energetically, spiritually, emotionally, um, mentally, I feel like it's coming to an end. You're at like, it's like you're coming to the end of the way that you see this, like all the swords, you're coming to this point. It's like you've you're on top of the world in, in respect of you can now see what's happened, that it's been in your best interest, even though at the time you may not have seen it. I think you're starting to, to awaken to the respect that everything is actually fine, right? Everything is fine. You can see what's happening above the clouds, but sometimes when we're under the clouds, we can't see the, the beauty. We can't see when there's all that smoke, when there's all that um, stress, when there's all these things happening and we're trying to hold the faith. We're trying to keep the faith and the faith is letting you know, spirit is letting you know that you're coming out the other side and this new beginning is coming where your heart feels full, where you feel supported. This new beginning is about what lights up Pisces, what gets Pisces heart singing. Okay. 
because all the hopes, all the dreams with the star card here and the six of inspiration, everything you've been praying for, everything that you've been working towards, the way that you've started to speak up, to show up for yourself, while it may be for others, importantly, this is about you showing up for yourself, Pisces, and what you're going to start seeing happen is things are going to arrive because you've done the work. The new beginnings arrive because you're willing to step outside that comfort zone a little bit. It doesn't mean that you have to be jumping off a cliff to do so, but you've been taking step by step by step, one step at a time. Maybe for some of you, you've been really like pushing really hard and then need rest, need quiet, need to regroup, um, you know, questioning whether, hang on, am I on the right path? Am I on the right journey? Why is this so hard? Shouldn't it be flowing? But the work that you've been doing, the tough times, it's even with the struggle, it's trying to let you know, like there are parts that we need to acknowledge to be able to accept, to take the next step, right? It's kind of like this golden path that I'm seeing and, and the golden nuggets and the stepping stones have been placed and you've been paying attention to it. It's like you've been naturally guided within, even sometimes you haven't understood where you're going or what you're doing. It's like the hopes, the dreams that you've had for yourself, for your family, for your career, for your life is coming to light. And the six of inspiration shows that, you know, the star card, the star is sitting above you. The star is shining above you because the work is is being recognized. Everything you've done, spirit's like, I got you. I got you. I got your back. I got your heart. I've got your good, true intentions, Pisces, and I'm here to deliver it. But through this full moon, we still need to do a little bit more clearing. We need to remind ourselves what we're here to do, our highest calling, and we're going to feel it to the depths is what this energy is really telling you know, we've got here about the emotions are running high. The emotions are running high because we need to feel through it, to accept it, to acknowledge the things that have happened, that have occurred in our heart, in our soul, and importantly, so you can claim it. And that's what this six, six of inspiration is as you're moving through this full moon energy, as you're coming out of this full moon energy is like claiming what is yours, Pisces, what you want and not being afraid to take the action to do so. Okay. With the queen of voices and the justice card, maybe you've been in communications, um, seeking something new with your career. Maybe you've been putting yourself out there you're doing things and recognizing the way that you actually enjoy um, communicating or what ignites that, um, that mental aspect of you to like the work that you actually like doing that gets you excited. You know, the, the skills and the talents that you use, it's like encompasses all of you. It encompasses your heart, encompasses your mind. And I feel with the queen of voices energy and the justice is like, Again, what you have worked for is coming. It's arriving. The offers, the opportunity, the contracts, whatever that you've been seeking, whatever you've been calling in is that you're, you're seen in this queen of voices energy. Maybe this week you're going to be moving into a role that requires more of you to lead in, in form of the communication, whether you're leading teams, whether you need to speak more to people, whether you need to get on social media, but stepping in a place of authority, a person who is controlled, who's intelligent and being able to submit that part um, of what people need to hear and need to feel as part of that process. So it may be you need to start putting yourself more on social media. And as you do, you know, whatever the work you're doing here, it's like you're seen as that authority. People want to come to you because they feel safe. They feel supported. They feel acknowledged through the way that you communicate. And again, a role could be around that too, that you're stepping in a role of leadership where people are listening, people are paying attention. You know how to connect to these people. And it's finally like when I see the justice card and we're going to clarify here, but I feel what's happening is that you know exactly what is needed. And I feel for others, it's helping it balance it out. It's helping to bring Bring harmony and it's helping to bring the right results that you are pursuing but importantly the peoples and the, the people and the lives that you're touching you know through your work it, I, f I feel like it's very magnified right now Pisces in regards to your highest calling where you're meant to be and what you're meant to be doing okay so we're going to clarify here um, and then I'll go into to these um, in what is going to best support you uh, in regards to the full moon energy, okay? So we've got the three of wands. 
this is again with the death card and the the queen of materials this is about you getting really focused on what it is that you want right now okay the full man energy is about hey let's get focused pisces what can spirit give to you what is it that you need to accept but what is it that you can do to really take action and take charge in terms of your career in terms of what lights you up um you know so do you need to get a plan together do you need to contact someone like put that list together is kind of what i'm saying put that list get really focused on what you need to do and the action that you need to take uh, so you can start stepping into that queen of materials energy um, and that transformation that you're seeking is something that needs to occur within you it's not actually what's happening outside okay and if there are energies or things or people outside that aren't in support of you you've got to pay attention to that and know what to clear as well and that's part of this death and rebirth um, it doesn't mean you have to go knock on the door and saying i'm not doing this can't do this anymore with you maybe there is a resignation that needs to occur maybe there is a change in home a change in um direction maybe there is a just not spending time with the people that haven't supported you and finding a new group to connect to that supports the energy um, that you're doing. You're also moving out as like I said Pisces I feel like in some aspect there has been parts of you that has struggled potentially financially and you're coming you're coming out the end of that okay you're stepping into this new beginning but you have to have that belief you have to have that trust in yourself and start taking deeper action further action climbing um kind of mountains in ways that you haven't done before but not being afraid of it owning it like no this is where i'm going this is what i want this is what i want to do but i think something there is something in regards to um your finances, your mindset around finances that is also being cleared through this full moon energy. Um, but it it's helping clear it out. This is ten, 10 of voices is, is kind of letting me know everything is fine. Okay. Everything is fine. But a part of you has to release this and either which way it's coming to an end. The new beginnings are coming. Okay. The new beginnings are coming. You've got the Lord of the shadows. So, this is something that is truly supported, Pisces, okay? You're supported, you're gifted, um, spirit is looking out for you. The Lord of the Shadows is about um, the aspects, you know, the prayers that you're putting out there, the things that you're putting out there, the people that are watching over you, people that have passed on the other side. There's parts of us that sometimes we, it, kind of like that suffering and si silence, you know, and... The parts of us that have suffered, the parts of us that are trying to be a better parent, the parts of us that are trying to be a better wife or husband, the parts of us that are trying to be a better person um, for our friends, a better person, whether it's for God, the universe, like in support of following our dreams and our hopes. And this is like spirit saying, we see you, Pisces, and we know what you are in your heart and we know the things that need to clear and you are supported. We've got you. You're not alone okay is what i'm really getting here this is a really emotional reading pisces now let's have a look at the star card thank you spirit what do we have for pisces a beautiful wonderful heartful soulful pisces yeah the hope the deep hope and this is what's interesting i feel like there's just been a little bit of loss there's been a little bit of downward um we've been in a bit of a valley that's what i'm seeing we've been in a bit of a valley and this might be happening for a lot of you whether it's been your finances whether it's been in your relationships whether it's been with your friends your career there's something that's just been feeling sad that's been feeling lost and maybe a lot of your world in some regard has been not a dire straits and i think i've said this before not a dire straits but maybe it's like being super hard okay but at the same time you're keeping things together you're keeping the faith you're keeping the prayers but you're also struggling and this is like the, the lord of the shadows seeing that is acknowledging that now with the five of chalices which is the five of cups there is parts that 
there's something that you need to let go here. You may not be able to see it, but she's pouring things out from her cup. So what I'm getting here is giving this back to the universe, giving this back to Gaia, giving this back to God to nurture the beauty around her and trusting in the path forward, trusting in what's ahead. It's been a difficult road. So if you've been walking this path, it's like you've come to the beauty and you're thanking it, you're watering it, you're giving it the goodness that you need. But you're not alone here, Pisces. Whatever you're emptying out, you've still got these three full cups here, okay? And I think you want to drink from the sweeter cups and the ones that aren't supporting that that sweetness that are bitter that are pain it's like you're giving it away and you're putting the faith and you're putting the hope in towards your dreams in towards what lights you up and that's what this is about this full moon this is what this full moon is about for you okay and pisces i mean the pisces is about our um the work that that you do like the highest calling the intuition the connection there but then aligning it with your career right so pisces is the 12th house capricorn is the 10th um and again what's happening here is the offers the opportunities people are paying attention people are seeing the work that you're doing whether you're doing it for other people I think importantly, Pisces, you're doing this for you. You are finally doing the work that you want to do for you and you're being seen and recognized as a part of that and offers and opportunities are coming. But importantly, strong, stable, trusting opportunities, ones that you can count on to secure your future, to secure your path ahead and knowing it with this uh, energy of... I feel like, again, with the queen of voices energy, I feel like you're coming from a place yourself of just such strength. And because you've had such belief and you, you're starting to see that more and more, the work is paid off. It's like, again, these opportunities arrive, but it's staying, staying present to that. And I mean, you're also being guided. You've got like a bird here flying. I'm not sure if that's a hawk or not, but I don't think it is a hawk. But whatever's happening here, this is one to celebrate. This is an opportunity to celebrate. You've got, she's holding some roses or could be some posies. They're pretty, whatever they are. Um, she's happy, she's content, and she's got this solid foundation under her on the path that she's going and leading. And she's being supported and guided along the way, okay? And this is what's coming towards you. This is what's arriving, Pisces. Spirit, what else do you have for Pisces? Tell us more about the Justice card and the Queen of Voices, please, Spirit. We had three cards come out, so let's read what these are. We've got the Crone. We've got the Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Wow. So there is someone who is supporting you incredibly, Pisces, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing. Um, the crone energy, eight, infinity, infinity. I look at that infinity, but this is like the strength, the power, the courage, the lion energy. Okay. This is also about shining. This is also about knowing that you're supported. Like I've already shared, um, as I've seen here with the Knight of pentacles, the, the Lord of the shadows is here looking over you, um, from, from the depths that you can't see, from the silences and sufferings that you're experiencing, they're here supporting you. And as you see this unfold, the crone, this is about great strength and leadership and where you're leading and heading towards. And more opportunities are coming. The page of one's energy is about taking action, having the magic, right? Conducting the magic, doing the magic and recognizing the growth that comes when you lead and take action there could be um you may feel whatever you're moving into with this page of one's energy that um 
that you need to create a little bit more magic in your world because you may feel that you're coming in starting something new and it's something that you have to build up, have more courage, have more uh, towards your own belief as I think you're entering something new with these opportunities. And again, it could be in your career because it's something about you're taking action towards, right? But it's a new beginning with the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands. But a new beginning, I feel you're stepping into um, a new role perhaps or a new position and you feel like you're not starting again, but this is like a whole new chapter where you have to take things in to learn. But the best way for you to learn is just do and just flow with that energy of learning. Okay. Again, it could be another opportunity coming in, but whatever's coming in, this is in such support of you. This is about everything that you've been praying for, everything that you've been working towards, everything that you've been putting out into the universe. This new beginning is really firing up in a place of the work that you've wanted to do, the strength that you've held, the the beliefs that you've, and the faith, it's just all coming together, okay? It's really coming together. Um, and the action that you've taken, again, there's another new beginning here, but you're not starting from scratch, okay? You're starting from a place already of knowledge, of skill, of talent that you've encompassed, that you have, that's within you. Everything that you've learnt along the way, Right? everything that you've um, encountered, the lessons, like I said, but I think when I say the work, this comes in two parts, the work that you've experienced through life, but, and also the work that you've carried through your career. And it's letting you know the, the greatest thing for you right now is confidence is your key to success with new moon in Leo. And you've got the sovereign card. So this is, you are the queen of your life. Treat yourself like royalty. So again, whatever that you're doing, whatever that you're working towards, whatever you're entering into, this newness, this belief system that you've created, the changes that are occurring, there's going to be some disruption potentially over this full moon energy, okay, in Capricorn. But this is to build your chapter, to build and move towards your highest, like, calling, right? When it comes to your career, this is usually for, as we move through later in life, um, and everything that we've learned along the way and how we put it out into the world now in a bigger way, in a bolder way. So maybe this is for some of you, this is something new that you're embarking on that you feel called that you want to step into. Maybe it's a, a type of movement. Maybe it's a type of new business and side hustle. Maybe it's just something that's more connected to your spirit and your energy that you're moving towards. But maybe Maybe for some of you, this is like, I'm tired of playing small and you're going larger in an area, one that's not out of your depth, but one that is like bigger than you possibly can imagine. But the impact that you're going to make is going to be incredible, but incredibly supported. I feel like you're, for some of you are bringing just some amazing things and people together. And with the justice card too, this could be that again, a specific movement that you're standing up for, that you're heading into to really create some profound change in the world. Okay. For some of you, you are good enough. You are strong enough. You are powerful. You're intelligent. You've got it all. So keep trusting in that. I'm going to leave that with you again. If you feel connected to this message, I appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you later. Bye.